I've got a real good treat for you. Well, actually, my friend Jenny here from Science Alive has a treat for all of us. She's going to be teaching us how to make an edible experiment, slime. Slime. Definitely. I'm so excited. I wonder if we can try and incorporate the thing, same thing with our gunge, but that's another story. <laughs> One day, maybe. <laughs> all right, so this is a really simple recipe, but you do need help from your parents at home because we're going to be using a stove top, okay? Okay. The first ingredient is Metamucil. Metamucil is something that people use sometimes when they can't poo, so <laughs> right. don't just, eat too much of the slime, I okay? was just gonna say, because it's a fibre, so if that's yeah. in there, you, I would think you'd be able to eat lots, but it's a no. fibre that helps you um, yeah. digest. Yes, Okay. so don't eat the whole thing of slime. You can definitely eat it, but don't eat all of it, okay? okay. So basically what we're gonna do is mix one cup of water with Metamucil, one tablespoon of Metamucil, and it's going to heat up really quickly. It's gonna look brown, it's gonna look yuck. All right, <laughs> so then we're gonna add one, a few drops of food coloring. Nice. To make it nice and green, otherwise it would just stay brown. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of jelly mixture. Now that makes it taste good. Nice, you guys like jelly? Yeah. yeah. Great. All right, so when we're mixing, it's gonna start looking a little bit more like slime. Oh, cool. And I heard so. you actually slime someone at work. I did. My colleague, he asked me, do you think it would bounce if you put it on, if you bounce it off someone's face? So I said, all right, we'll try it on you. So and, we did. And it bounced? It does. It bounced onto the ground. We couldn't eat it afterwards. Oh. <laughs> So the cool thing about this is I remember when I was at school and I did science and science was so boring. Yeah. So this seems like really fun. No, I agree. I had a bit of trouble with science as well, but this is really fun. And Science Lab is all about trying to make it interactive and fun for kids and adults. Nice. All right, so it's going to start boiling and you'll start seeing bubbles coming out of it. Once you start seeing it bubbling up, Whoop. Once you start seeing it it's bubble a, up, bit there of we go. an arm work out there. A little right? bit, just getting the green worked in, otherwise, you got little brits of brown. But once you start seeing it, it's starting to bubble a little bit, then you can take it off and let it cool. Now, you're going to leave it, leave it to cool for like 30 minutes, an hour, okay. until it's definitely touchable because obviously there's sugar in here, so it can get really hot. But yeah. the psyllium inside it is the thing that has all that fiber in it, which right. is a natural ingredient. So it just comes from the psyllium husks. Cool. And it's turning into slime. That's awesome. And you've got some that you've made, yeah. you made earlier for us. I have some especially for the kids to have a go with. How did we go? There? Oh, nice. Want to try some? <laughs> and I'll turn this off for you yeah, while you... Good. Great. Great. So, who's first? Uh, who's first? Oh, you. Ladies try? first. Come here, Sam. You can, you can come after. you got to drop it into your mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just lean over here. So, this is the part here. This is the tester one. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Um, That's right. If we want to follow you and follow other edible experiments, where can we find you? Well, we're on Instagram, but we're also um, on, we have our own website, sciencelive.co.nz, and we have a YouTube video that has a bunch of science tutorials like this. Oh, great. And hey, we will put all those details on at whatnow.tv because I bet there's a whole lot of you that want to check these out. But thank you again. That's all right. Thanks for having me. What now? What now? Sunday from 8 a.m. On 2.